everybody. So today we're going to try Stone F and B features and benefits IPA 4% ABV. Now I did pick this up at Mega Bev and it was on the very top shelf. And usually when they're on the top shelf, they're either out of date or they're going out of date. And this is one that is out of date. So I'm going to tell you up front, I will not rate this one, but I wanted to buy it just to see uh, gluten reduced, super smooth, 95 calories, uh, 2.9 carbs, and like I said, 4% uh, percent ABV. And the bottle is dented, which is very weird, a glass bottle being dented. But uh, so on here, and I did see this when I picked it up, um, 11, 12, 20, and enjoy by 3, and I took it off. I think it was 12, 21. Um, so again, uh, I did know this, but if you're going to a local, say, beer store, liquor store, anything like that, and you want to drink fresh beer, you better check uh, those dates on there. So I will not rate this. I will put it in, uh, uh, I will log it in untapped uh, with the rating, but I will put out of date on it. Let's go ahead and get this into a glass. There we go. Um, man, dank. Very, very dank. Uh, yeah, India Session uh, Ale Session IPA is what they're calling it. 30 IBU is at 4%. Well, that seems kind of high for a session because usually when I make my home brews, my home brewed IPAs, I generally, when I'm doing something new, whatever uh, the original gravity is, that's what I try and match uh, for the ABV. So if it's like a 1030 um, or IBUs, a, a 1030, then I would go with 30 IBUs. Uh, but 4% from 30 IBUs, is it going to be dry? Hmm, we're going to find out. Off-white colored head, very small, not even a quarter finger of head. For the color, <laughs> be yellow. Uh, it is clear. I can make out the bell sign and the light box. Uh, medium bubble, bubble level, if I could talk today. Coming through there. Looks fine. Not hazy, anything like that. So this is about three months out of date. Let's go ahead and smell. It almost... It smells like a, actually a nice toasted malt, like light roasted malt in there with some dankness, like maybe a dank hop. Kind of, not as peppery, but kind of like it would have coffee beans in it <laughs> that sounds so weird um that's it reminds me of like a white stout that has coffee beans like very light coffee beans because sometimes in uh like a coffee beer it can come off as a pepper um at, at least to me um, that's, this is weird. It kind, yeah, it has that, not as much coffee, but like a white stout. With, I don't, I'm pretty sure there's no coffee in here. We'll have to check untapped once we're done. But, yeah very light coffee and because it's a session IPA 
it, it's it's coming out a little bit more that dankness from the hop from it, it almost smells like copper hops yeah in there so let's go ahead and taste very light what a session IPA should be kind of watered down a little dank hop in the back citrus like a watered down generic citrus it, it seems like it's over carved a little now three months out of date depending on how they carve this I could see that being over carved a little bit because usually the longer you let them sit uh, the carbonation level will go up a little bit yeah that is light yeah maybe I don't get that light coffee like I do in the smell it's more of a light cracker probably from the malts are using but that dankness is in the back I don't think it's copper hops I don't think they use copper hops in this but a dankier hop is what I get um yeah I'm not gonna score it let's check untapped and see what they say well Three of my friends have had it, average 3.07 out of 5. Almost 8,000 people have had it, 3.13 out of 5. So let's see if they say anything about hops. Hop forward IPA. Okay, I can see dankness coming from that, but that still doesn't tell us what hops are used. Not the best, very thin, watery. Okay, as expected. Grassy herbal. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's up to you. This is almost like, I, I wouldn't say a hard seltzer, but the equivalent IPA of a hard seltzer. You know, you go with the session IPA, watered down, just to get some of that malt, some of that hop to keep the calories low. I mean, for me, I don't care about that. Um... But yeah, you're under a hundred. Um, yeah, yeah. I I mean, I guess to this, it's still tasting fine. Um, somebody gave it a two point eight, but uh, did not say anything. Yeah, back in November twenty eighth, twenty twenty, John said, yeah, not the best, very thin, uh, watery. But that's to be expected because you're drinking a session IPA. So if you've had this, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to check out some videos over here. And until next time, happy brewing.